Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley, and we're in a massive battle. Let's go ahead and put this on slow motion. I know you guys detest that, or at least some of you, but anyways, you can see the timer has started going down. This is going to be itself a massive battle, 3v3. Nonetheless, it's going to be a relatively quick one at 9 minutes. Um, at least quick for this type of battle. But in any case, I'm going to be in the center as Epirus, and you'll notice our entire team is Epirus. The entire opposing team is Rome, so we have... Uh, Pyrrhus has come back from the dead and he's going to be fighting Roman legions, a mixed bag of Roman legions uh, with Avocati and we're in Egypt with the pyramid. So yeah, alternate <laughs> universe to the max. In any case, we're going to just kick back and enjoy this battle. I don't feel like doing too much analysis. Let's just go ahead and enjoy the view, enjoy the sights and have ourselves a nice big massive battles. How about that? Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. No analysis, almost none of it. So let's just watch the scenes and I went ahead and with the vibe of just kicking back went ahead and put Rome 1 uh, Total War music mod on so we can enjoy those sweet tunes let's get some cinematic shots of these Romans as they're advancing let's pan over these troops so you can already start to see the the composition they have Hastati in the front mercenary Syrian archers Evacati in the back Triari backing that up then Roman Cav let's see this is going to be a huge line extending all the way. Let's get one uh, on this side for both battlefields. Uh, we have some nice big elephants, African war elephants, or... I can't remember what they are actually. Yeah, I think those are Africans. Or at least mercenary elephants. Let's go ahead and check that real quick. Mercenary Indian war elephants, I should have known because of the, uh, the ears. In any case, we're going to be having a huge cavalry engagement up on this front with us moving forward, backing up the Reyes Spears, to back up these five cavalry, let's watch this charge. Moving forward, being screened on the opposing side by some Romans, who are just positioning themselves to intercept. Thera spears are getting intercepted right here by some of these Triari, and this is this is cool. As of the last patch, you're going to see more and more of the Triari, sort of the Roman counterpart to the hoplite. These guys do well in combat as elite spears. Ah, uh, nice. We're missing some of this. Let's watch this charge we get into this mix. Actually, let's 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 kick it up a notch. Ah, oh, there you go. You like that cinematic? Sweet. Right into the spear gladiatrices. So as that's unfolding on that side, we'll at least get a battlefield perspective. Look at this huge, massive battle taking part in the entirety of the game, or of the map, so we're going to be swinging around this side with some troops, and here I go up in the center, baiting with some of these cav, and we're going to start engaging with our archers. The Syrians already got some initial volleys against me, and now here comes some Roman cav. Just going to be a feint, though. As more and more of our forces are going to be diverted to this side, I'm going to go ahead and come out and charge, intercept some of his forces who are here out flat. These are the Hastati. I figured I would trounce these guys. You can see me flattening most of their ranks and withdrawing just as my uh, the charge bonus wears off. I did kill a decent amount of them and I pulled out. Took several losses but I figured it would be enough to neutralize this front. And now here comes one of my own charges over on this front. We're going to be pushing through this gap, swarming around this side. Let's watch some of these charges. Elephants in the background moving up. Gonna be chased off, and here we go. Shooting the gap with some of our cavalry. They're gonna get partially intercepted. What this is gonna do is gonna open up a position where we can actually start moving forward with these elephants through this gap. So we're just trying to punch in through here, already positioning some Peltas and various other units to start pushing through this gap. Actually, this is one of my allies pushing through here. Here we go. Some of my own cavalry are going to be swinging around to this side. You can see the massive engagement on this front. We're kind of throwing in everything we have in here. Let's watch this again on cinematic. The Rayo Spears coming in, dealing with the cav. Volleys of just arrows coming in from the distance. Let's see what this looks like from uh, this perspective of the Syrian archers. Just firing into that blob. And here come the Spear Gladiatrices, chasing off the cav. Pretty epic sight. That's <laughs> so epic. So many cavalry, so many missiles come in. And so that's sort of what's going on in that engagement. We're pushing up the center, and here we go. As I said, making room for these elephants to do their sweeping charge up the side. And now we have some of our own elephants engaged on this front. Some cavalry in the distance. These guys are going to be 
starting to bite it as the heavy Roman cab. Wow, look at some of the uh, the plate he has in front. That's really cool. I never noticed that. These guys are going to be getting countercharged, so Romans with the Syrians and other troops are going to be coming in here. But look in the distance, another group of elephants is going to be charging in. Let's make sure we don't miss that. So they're kind of, yeah, knocking over some of my own uh, Agria and Axon who are doing some damage to his troops. And they're going to do a counter charge all up along this line that's at this point kind of starting to fall apart. We're pushing back the Romans on this front, pulling back some Thessalians. Another one of my Thessalians was sent over here to smash the back of these spear gladiatrices. Cycle charging, waiting for more opportunities, going to counter charge that general. We have a lot of Roman troops in the vicinity. Let's just go and watch this entire battle unfolding from the overhead. So I'm making a lot of uh, progress here, forcing the Romans back, but on each wing we're really uh, taking a lot of damage. My elephants did maraud right through this line, went straight for these Syrian archers, did not want them dealing too much damage to us. But over on this flank, the Romans have essentially wrapped up this flank. They were just doing some mopping up operations against some of the engaged uh, Epirotes here. It's not going to be enough because now it means they can turn their attention. And let's see what these volleys can do. So here you go. Syrian archers lining up. They're bloodied from the battle on this side. And let's see if they actually have any ammo left to engage with my guys. Here we go. And watch a volley getting off. And there we go, one elephant goes down. We're getting in some of our own hoplites to try and intercept this charge. Two elephants go down, three, four, five. They're going down. Looks like they're going berserk, and they're at the end of their, their line. Cavalry charge is going to end up finishing these beasts off. Let's get ahead and get an up-close view of the demise of these guys. The last one standing. There he goes. Takes a couple men out with them. And that's going to be a victory on this side for the Romans. Just cleaning up our operations left. Oh, on this front, I have pinned the Romans with my hoplites. The problem with these Epirote forces is they really don't have the killing power, so you can you can pin these legions, you can get around their flanks, but you're not going to kill them quickly, and so that means I may be sort of winning or at least pushing a standstill in the center, you know, uh, getting flanks on these Roman Avocati here, really cutting them apart and screening uh, reinforcements from getting in with my forces. But while that's happening, I'm kind of insulated from everything else going on the flanks, which is essentially a Roman victory at this point. I send in some troops over here to help me out, help our ally, ally tie up this front. Some of the archers are going to be positioned here. They're going to try and stem the, the collapse on this side. You can see lots of dead in the distance. I was getting shots off at the Romans. They're going to be doing an about face, targeting these Roman cavalry who are almost like sharks circling our position. Let's watch from the, from the view of these archers. Here comes another one of these hungry uh, shark units coming into the back, chewing in into our line. As we try and retreat, this one is, you know, going to come in right for a charge on the hoplites. We're going to brace at the last moment. Let's watch this charge. Coming in. Some of my pikes are still alive. They're going to reform and greet these sharks with a nice porcupine. I don't know what what our creatures are doing in the ocean right now, but we got a porcupine in the ocean with some sharks, and that's what's happening in this battle, folks. This is this is incredible. Here comes the rest of the Roman troops, and look at what, you know, the massacre was of what's here. Our hoplites are holding in, but we have just no killing power to finish off these Romans. It means that once we lost this cavalry wing, those cavalry were free to strike and, you know, clean up the rest of our troops, who would have otherwise held out for a while. And then these archers are just raking in the kills. Against our archers, they outclassed us. You know, Syrians from the east, they're going to have a lot of skill, a lot of armor. We couldn't counter them. And any of our blobs that is still alive... They're just going to shower it. Shower it with gills. So it's a bloody, bloody day in front of the pyramids. There goes that force starting to break. In the center, I'm still alive. Still trying to keep these forces at bay with my pikes. They're going to slip through in wedge formation. Charging right into their own forces. They don't care. They're just here for the juicy targets. Slim pickings to get the rest of these guys. But uh, everyone is coming in to, to get their fill. My forces are here at their at their end, starting to retreat, getting picked off. Pill of volley right into the back of my troops. Archer volleys, cavalry charges. They're going to eat some pikes, at least, from one position. But that's going to be it. They're going to start breaking. So there we go. Let's go ahead and finish while we're observing this one. You know, two Roman legionaries cheering this victory. And it was a massive Roman victory. You can see the pile of corpses everywhere. Very epic battle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really enjoyed playing with my teammates. 
and my opponents. Here you can see them all laid out in front of you. And you can just see the problem that we face, which is Epirus really has no killing power, just staying power. Rome has a lot of killing power. You know, you put up these Evocati right in the front. They're going to chop through your forces, beef that up with some Syrian archers. They're going to get a lot of kills. If we want to take a look at, you know, start picking the weak links, I might say Koala could do better. It was his first game in this latest patch, so that's perhaps why he didn't perform as well. He wasn't used to the changes. Weck is our MVP on this side. He had the uh, Molossian Dogs, who are DLC units, raking up a lot of kills, 104 kills uh, fed to the dogs. His Slingers, however, didn't perform well. Thoreo's Spears did pretty well. I myself didn't do amazing. You can see Hoplites never paid for themselves. Even these really expensive ones, you know, going against Evocati could not fend for themselves. Basically, no one paid for themselves here, besides perhaps one group of these Indian War Elephants who we saw rampaging. Let's go ahead and pick out the Roman MVP. It's going to be almost a tie between Christ, King of Jews. Actually, I don't think I went over our opponents, <laughs> sorry, at the beginning of the battle. Anyways, this is uh, Dactor from IDE. FG clan, this is Christ King of Jews, and then Bear, Destroyer of Worlds here. So it's going to be uh, Dactor did pretty well here, but let's go ahead and look at these two other uh, troopers here. Getting a lot of kills, it looks like, all around with the Syrians. Very, very effective forces. Cavalry turned the tide. Avocati cleaned it up. And a similar story here, but not any Avocati actually on this front. So he actually got a lot of kills with his veteran Triari, getting in the thick of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Hopefully we can do more of these just cinematic kickback videos. I really enjoy these. Commentary is easy. Battles are fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get you guys in those videos in the future. So, see ya. Peace out.